I'm Adam Leonard and today I'm reviewing Wanderer for the PSVR. Wanderer is an adventure puzzle title with themes of time travel, incredible storytelling, and ambitious design that sometimes sets a new bar for games of its kind, but at others can struggle to keep pace with its own lofty aspirations. As we take one more lap with the PSVR before its successor arrives, does Wanderer earn its place among the platform's best, or does it wander too far off the beaten path for its own good? Let's find out. Isn't it, Asher? And you've managed to bend, if not nearly break it. Quite the mess you've made. Tell me, do you think this world you've helped shape is a worthwhile payoff for your escapades? Don't be too hard on yourself. In the end, some things just prove to be... Inevitable. The first thing you're going to notice in Wanderer is the world building and the efforts put forth by developers Odd Boy and M Theory to make you feel immersed in the game. The visual fidelity on display is pretty impressive, especially on a platform that's kind of known as being the weaker of all VR platforms. Wanderer looks great. And all the different locations that you go through across space and time do a good job of feeling authentic and distinct from each other. Each location that you travel to in Wanderer is relatively self-contained. They all have their own puzzles, key items, characters, and narrative beats to help move the plot forward. That plot has you as the Wanderer time traveling, bouncing backwards and forth through the timeline in an effort to make things right, fix the corrupted timeline, and to prevent a great calamity from happening in the future. Along for the ride is a charming and capable AI who lives in your wristwatch named Samuel. Samuel serves as your guide by providing you helpful clues and tips in the puzzles that you're encountering, as well as serving as your main gameplay multi-tool. You see Samuel the wristwatch is both your time travel device, as well as your inventory management system. Puzzle pieces and key items are found scattered across the timeline, and as you collect them, you store them in Samuel, who has a limited storage capacity that can be expanded throughout the game as you level him up. These key items that you find throughout the game are very important, especially as the timelines begin to accrue and stack on top of each other. The more places you go, the more things there are for you to find, more puzzles for you to solve. And puzzle solving is the thing you are going to be doing the most in Wanderer. There are some incredible cognitive capers to solve in this game, from code breaking in a World War II German bunker, to solving ancient Mayan riddles, to helping Tesla piece together and activate his machine through a multifaceted process. While you're always trying to solve something in Wanderer, the puzzles are the things that shine, while other roadblocks that the game wants you to figure out are a little bit more obtuse. There are certain roadblock moments in Wanderer where the game expects you to know where to go and what key items to have in order to overcome the obstacle in your path. And while Samuel can be helpful in providing certain tips and hints of where to go and what time to explore, other times his clues are so strange that they'll have you scratching your head and not understanding what the game wants you to do at all. Especially as the game gets into its latter half, I found myself going online to just find the answer to some of the clues, and it all boiled down to me needing to have a specific key item that just didn't really seem to make any sense for the situation that I was in. It's really a shame because some of the puzzles in Wanderer are absolutely brilliant, and most importantly, they're fun to execute. They really can provide some wonderful aha moments that'll have you feeling like a genius, while other times, the game seems to want to do nothing more but confuse and frustrate you by giving you no indication of what it wants you to do. If you've ever done an escape room, you kind of know what to expect with Wanderer. The game provides you a wide open environment to explore and plenty of keys within it, but sometimes you don't know where those keys fit and sometimes you don't even know where the keyhole is. The game provides equal aha moments with sheer frustration, and if you're ready for that, this can be a really good time. Something that's really important to us here at Mega Dads is the family focus. You might be asking yourself in this review, is this a game that's gonna be appropriate for me to play with my kids or around my kids? And here's what I'll say. This one's not for the little ones. While there's no bad language or overt violence that you really need to avoid, the fact is the game can have a very slow pace and can demand a lot of cognitive thinking that's gonna turn off little ones. However, if you have older children or a spouse who enjoys puzzles, this could be a very good cooperative experience. 
put the headset on and let your wife or your teenage kids help you solve the puzzles in front of you, this could be a very good collaborative experience like most escape rooms are. Plus, it's a lot easier for you to ask your wife to Google an answer to a puzzle than it is for you to rip the headset off and fumble around for your phone. In the end, Wanderer is a very ambitious title that has really great world building and a setup that I want to see more of. The game does end with an allusion to more games coming down the series, and there's enough here that I'm invested in and want to be along for the ride. While the game does suffer from some technical limitations of the PSVR platform, specifically with the move controller and bad tracking, as well as being just unable to maintain the momentum that the game puts on itself by stacking more and more and more puzzles, it really just kind of falls apart at the end, which is a shame because everything leading up to those final couple chapters is a lot of fun. Wanderer is on the right path, but unfortunately it just buckles a little bit under the weight of its own ambitions, and it's just shy of great. My final score for Wanderer is three and a half out of five. Oh, that's just wonderful. So no pressure then. Thank you for watching this Megadads review. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. My name is Adam. You can follow me on Twitter at the Art of Adam L. And make sure you're tuned in right here on Megadads on YouTube. This is where gamer life meets real life.